Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to give you an update on our progress. We've done a, quite a bit since the last update video. I did quite a bit in the last week. I had two days off of work, so I had uh, quite a few days on the, to work on the bus last week. Pretty worn out, to be honest, but yeah, I made some good progress. We're finally done with the underbay framing, for at least for now. I have a couple more floor panels to do, but um, yeah, we're done with the majority of the framing and insulating the walls and all that. So I'll take you around and show you the tour. So this is where our air conditioning condensers are going. And I have the holes all drilled for them so they can be slipped in as soon as I make hoses for them. It'll just be a little easier to get it all done while, while the get the hoses run while it is out of the way. Or while the condensers are out, so... Yeah, because the condensers are there, I think they're called condensers, and then the actual air conditioning units will be hanging down from the flooring, and anyway, there's one of the, the mounts for that. So the two of them will hang down there, and then I'll have my cold air return, which is right up there. Sorry for the bad lighting and all that. But um, come right through the air conditioners, and then out to our central air, we'll have our diesel heater hooked up in line and furnace filter and all that. So and then I'll have ductwork running to the back of the bus and to the front. So it's a lot of work, but it should be really nice once it's all done. But I put this expanded metal mesh on the side of the bus and framed it with some inch by one eighth strapping and it looks pretty good I need one more piece I ran out I need one more piece that runs along the center because I have a um, there's a bar right behind this expanded metal and that will keep it from rattling right now it has just a slight slight rattle and that should take it all out I kinda was a little bit lazy but it's still a functional way to do it. I used um, the metal self-tapping self screws. I don't envision me going in and out of there very often. It's just basically so I can slide the condensers in and then bolt this on and that should be good to go. Now it allow, also allows us to pull off this mesh when we go to paint the bus and paint both sides of it. So we get a good coverage on that. But Emily did a whole bunch of work too. She painted the whole underbay with a waterproofing uh, basement paint, basically. So, got coverage on the plywood on all the edges, and yeah, it uh, turned out pretty good. I have the two uh, gr gray, well, the top one's gray, and the bottom will be black. Got those rails in, everything looks good there. I started on the wiring, cleaning out the wiring harness. I have quite a bit done. I have all of these wires that are obsoleted from the front dash. And then here's our pile of extra wire for the bus. But um, cleaning that out, that took, that was an afternoon to get a lot of that cleaned out and we had some of the relays and some automatic door closing stuff done but um, there's a lot to it and the wiring diagram isn't always the most specific or easy to understand so this is the other side of the underbay looks, I don't have any of the floors in yet because I want to have access for working under the bus because it would be a little tight for me. I think we figured we have 12 inches of clearance between the frame rails, which you can see at the top there, and then the floor of the bus, so 12 inch totes will slide right underneath the frame rails. Um, because this is not going to, like, all my, I have the power steering lines and air lines and other lines running between the frame rails, so you have to be able to 
anything you put down there and you have to have protected in case you have a leak or blowout or something like that. Um, you want it all covered and in totes and stuff like that. So yeah, it looks nice having some progress. All the walls are insulated. All I have left to do are the front wall, or is the front wall here, and the back wall there. I'm just waiting to make sure I get all my stuff run and make life easier for me than that way. Here's the, I guess here's the wiring harness that I have been cleaning up. Basically pulled the cover off of it and traced down all like the automatic door and everything else that um, no longer needed. Pull that out so you don't have to worry about it later on. It just makes it for a simpler diagnosing process if you need to do something on the road. Um, I'm going to be pulling out these coolant hoses next because I need to fit a spare tire basically under the steps. And I'll go into more detail there later. That's the only spot on the bus that's left to us that has a large a large storage space. So I'm also going to be doing some of this framing, get this buttoned up so you don't have to worry about falling through the floor anymore. And yeah, I'm pretty much done with I got most of the wiring harnesses out of here that were for the heaters and their conditioning system. It's, all that's left is the lighting system. So that one's going to be a chore to weed out because they had a lighting control unit up there. So there's stuff running from the fuse panel up to there and then from there to the back of the bus. So. I'm probably just going to obsolete the whole harness and rerun my wires from my back of the bus, but I have to just make sure there aren't any other functions that are hidden in with that, that wiring loom there. So this is the cold air return. Um, this will be underneath one of our pantry cabinets. And what I'll do here is I have the, the bottom silver part that's right there is the mounting bracket for the air conditioning units. So I'll run tin from there up to this top piece and get it nice and sealed so you don't have air being pulled from underneath the flooring because I do have the drainage plane on the back side of the InstaFast panels. So as soon as we get this sheet glued down I can screw the rest of those down and get that nice and tight. But yeah, I'm going to be working on the stairs for the next couple days probably. Getting that all cleaned up. And uh, get ready for that spare tire. That'll be a, definitely want one with me. And that's the only spot left for me to put it.